A couple that was forced to move into their car now so badly wants to just move on with their lives. Last year, Kimberly and Joseph's story gave a $165,000 check to You Build It Nashville. But after a full year passed, they called us for help because construction on their new home still not started. News Channel 5's Hannah McDonald met with them, and they tell us a lawyer has now taken on their case. Yeah, it's just, it's embarrassing. This fall, Joseph and Kimberly Story didn't think they'd be living in their car. They thought they'd be in their custom home. Because we signed contracts. You think when you sign contracts that that would, that would make a difference, but it, it didn't seem to do anything. More than a year ago, the Stories gave a $165,000 check to You Build It Nashville. This is all they have to show for that money. They called News Channel 5 when it became clear work wasn't getting done. Their situation caught an attorney's attention, and now a complaint has been filed in a Williamson County civil court. I think when we first met, you guys were saying that you were really still hoping your home would be built. What do you feel now? Uh, we about give up. Just hurt, uh, uh, embarrassed, <laughs> really, just kind of, you know, because it's like paid for in full. Feels like, this makes you feel like a fool. In the new complaint, a lawyer argues Michael Sizemore, the owner of You Build It Nashville, defrauded the stories as well as breached their contract. It goes on to argue there was intentional negligence and Sizemore's actions also violate the Consumer Protection Act. You know, I didn't want to go this far. I didn't want to. We don't want to go to court. I don't want to go to court. I want to just, we want our house is what we want. Or give us all our money back. The stories are seeking at least $275,000 in damages. You're supposed to be helping people, not hurting people. Hannah McDonald, News Channel 5. Our reporting also helped uncover that Michael Sizemore with You Build It is not even a licensed contractor. We reached out to him for comment this afternoon, but he has yet to respond. As for the stories, they wanted to pass along their sincere thanks to all of you who contributed to a GoFundMe. People donated about $2,800, and that helped pay for several nights in a hotel for them and their dogs, Carrie.